Hello. I Hello. Have, my um, stuff might not be working. Sorry, I interrupted your meal. I started to watch the uh, the Weird Al movie. Oh, really? What, what so, movie is it? Weird Al, you know, based off Weird I, Al Yankovic. I mean, I know who he is and everything, but I didn't know there was a movie or I didn't realize it. Hey, Vincent. No, guess who plays him? Daniel Radcliffe plays him. I was like, that's a pretty good choice. I don't know if my my stuff's working right now. I've had um I can only pull up the last few pictures. It's not going back further. Oh. So you just do that and then you scroll to the to the right. I know. It's not loading. I don't know. I, I, my internet's been stupid. I'm just going to blame my internet and the fireworks that people are setting off jumping me out of my bobby socks. <laughs> that, that is a grease light grease to was that a Grease 2 reference? I think it was. Knock, knock when Stephanie Zazoni, 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 out of her bobby socks. I can't, I can't talk. How is everyone? I know, I was just eating toast like two minutes ago. Hey, stud. Yeah, tell me about it, stud. Yeah, it's not working. Okay, so I have four people I can show you. For some reason, it's not scrolling over. It's either my internet or shenanigans. You might need to exit out of the thing Yeah, then. I might. But did you want to just pull one up and go with one for a minute, and then sure. I can mess around? Sure. All right. We're should doing start, actors. Should I start at the beginning of mine? I think we're just going to do whatever and just see how it goes. Okay. I don't, I'm not going to be pretty picky. Oh, 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 ready. oh, of course you are. My, my stuff's not working. Hold on. Give me a minute. Are you I ready? Just want... Oh, okay. shit. Don't look. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Reveal. <laughs> reveal. Okay. Versus, oh, Bradley Cooper versus Peter Dinklage. Interesting battle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting mm -hmm. battle. Who's the better actor, or who do we like better? Is the real question. Yeah, they're we both super good, and Br and I love Bradley Cooper's story. You know how he started on Alias, and he was such a good guy that he had a hard time getting bad guy roles for so long. They just want to give him good guy roles, and then he started doing bad guy roles, and he does good in bad guy roles. So I really like him. For me, Peter Dinklage is newer to the to the scene. For me, like last since i mean clearly since um elf movie <laughs> that i remember watch, um the station agent okay it's an independent kind of film and i you know i have this movie that i haven't watched yet where'd it go ah it's right in front of me the movie that i haven't watched yet that i want to that was a tv right. movie tv movie i gotta check it out yeah so can you hear my air conditioner? It's really loud. I guess you can't hear it. I can't hear it and I have mine going. I think I heard it in one of your videos or something once or one of your, when I was watching something back, but I, I have mine it's going. It's really freaking loud. <laughs> That's funny. I know. I was like yelling over it. I just had a weird TikTok notification pop up. So I had to block that person because I'm the only person here that could do that. I don't have any mods in here right now. So that was just annoying. Like I'm being a good girl. Don't be trying to harass me, people. <laughs> just flap, 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 baby. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know what I'm saying. Same. 
<laughs> then I, I, it lessens when I have you to talk to. Yeah, because I distract from, you know, there's a balance that way. There's a little bit of like crazy here and a little bit of crazy here. So it works out nicely. It's like a, it's a balance. The balance of the force. Ooh, I like that force. That's good. So we are trying to decide on our nice. actors. We have picked actors we like. Kyle's I like guy them both. Or Sean's guy. Mm. I think I'd and vote I, for. Well, I know you. Well, what's the parameters, first of all? Is I don't it know. Is this it is the just, better actor or whoever we like better? Because I, I don't know. We haven't determined. Let's just this. do it that way. Let's do it as a popularity contest. Yeah. Who okay. This like is popularity better? votes. Because really... honestly, either one is awesome, and I know you yeah. do like him, but he's super talented. Yeah. I mean, what do you do? What do you do? You They're both good. The, uh, when Bradley was like interviewing uh, Robert De Niro in like the actors' studio. Um, a lot, yeah, I think I might have seen that before he was famous. Oh. Yeah, I think I remember that. I remember him. I remember that po that being pulled up. Did you show it to who showed that to me? I remember seeing it. I remember that he was like a student there. He was a student, right? Was he a student at that class or something? Yes. Right, yes. right. Yeah, I totally saw. I used to watch that stuff a lot. Let's just vote for your guy. So we get a point for Kaya. I love that you're on my side lately, but you know, I got to tell you. Either or, I'm cool with even a tie. I know we're just starting and getting the, the juices flowing. Score is one to zero. Kaya's winning. Hold up one. He likes me, you guys. He's just being nice. <laughs> Hold up the number one. Okay. One to zero. zero. To That's okay. Score. Okay, who's next? Now, I will have to mess with this later because it's being. I bet you I win the next one, though. Okay. My mood really improved today. I want you to know. I love that. Ready? Reveal. Reveal. Oh, oh yes. I bet you. Yes, yours wins. Yours Watch wins. versus Chris O'Donnell, yeah. I just wanted to bring up some older, obscure, like he was in the Three Musketeers, but I love Joaquin. So. I don't think any, hardly any of mine are obscure. But. I think I tried to because I was trying to mix it up, but I didn't have as many females as you got, so. And I, like, might have to, like, figure out how to go get them because something's weird with my stuff but that's okay it's still fun it's weird seeing like watching the youtube like back and being like oh lord because now everyone <laughs> you know the post that you put on youtube oh it's fine it's all good you mean with, with us yes <laughs> oh, we i like watching back. it back huh oh, oh i think i understood what you mean no, I like watching it back. It's good, but it's just funny. It's just, I don't know. It's just funny. It's fine. Yeah. All right. So you win this one. So it's one to one. <laughs> tied game. Tied game. Who's next? <laughs> oh. oh. Gojo versus mm -hmm. Martin Lawrence. Is that who that is? Yes. Yes. And again, like Martin Lewis has made a bunch of movies, but nothing, has he made anything really recent? When I was a kid, uh, we were walking off the set of Demolition Man. My, my dad had a friend who worked at Warner Brothers. Shut up. And I even got one of the icicles as a prop to take home with me. I mean, I think it got damaged over time. I, I couldn't keep it, but he was there uh, hanging with Mr. Cooper, right? He was walking around the set. Or the lot, rather. I did hear your air conditioner kick in for one second there. That looks like your hair. Oh my god! Oh my god! That looks like your hair. That looks like. It looks like you have a wig on. <laughs> okay, I'm all right. I'm okay. I'm all right. That was a good laugh. I needed that laugh. So I'm so pretty. It's just it hurts. Oh my gosh! Really? The YouTube video that you put up and it has the Taylor Swift picture in it. I'm like dying when I was watching that. Oh, you saw another booby? <laughs> it was a like, little strawberry picture. I'm like, and again, I don't know the whole ins and outs of that. Like, I don't know if that was like a, I don't know. Apparently she was poisoned with her, her boyfriend or whatever. Oh, I'd kick his ass. Like, how dare he? I would kick his ass. Like, he shouldn't be, well, however that picture got out to the internet is all I'm saying. That. that well, what if it was her? <laughs> I mean... Anyway, so who won? Who wins? Oh, 
Oh yeah. Anybody in the comment section today that's gonna help us out? I think I win. Yeah, I guess. I'll give it to you. So two to one now. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna have to figure this out. Ooh. It's not like all of them. Oh, look, I'm gonna do one more reveal that I'm gonna have to freeze for a minute. Okay, ready? Okay. Reveal. Reveal. Oh, oh. mine wins. <laughs> you totally win. You totally win. I love him. Did you see my on on my YouTube? I have a a video of all of his famous lines. Maybe. I mean, I think I might have seen it. I forget though. That's cool. I'm gonna have to freeze frame from it. So you're gonna have to like do your crazy. No talk. actor. No actor has ever gotten as cool of lines as that guy. He's so cool. I do really, really, really like him. I picked a lot of older dudes and in my lineup and I'm like, well, that's weird. But I'm like, this is what this is what we're going to go with. So hang on. I'll be back. I'm sorry. I have to do this. I, I surprisingly picked a lot of ladies. I will be patient for Kaya to return. I'm doing the patient song of Kaya returning. Would you like to join me in the Kaya returning song? Maybe you've been around for too long. Maybe you'd like me to read your tarot cards. Maybe you'd like it if I was in charge of the government. But I'm not in charge of the government. This is a card that says the Knight of Potions. And what that means is there's going to be a guy looking for you. And he's going to be shocked to see you around. And you're going to like him, maybe. And that's what this card means. It's the Knight of Potions. I don't know. I was reading people's tarot cards. It's okay. Good job. Are you back? Is I think working? I'm back. We'll see. We'll see if it lets me load the pictures because it was giving me a trouble. It was giving me trouble. Don't piss Kaya off. Yeah. Like, work for me today. My, my internet's been a little weird. So fingers crossed we can make this work because I want to play this game. Um, I'm not keeping track. Are we trying to track here? Hmm. Last I checked, I gotta... it was, it's two to two, I think. Um, all right, let's just go two to two because I can't remember. Okay. I have a new person. I'm keeping track now. Okay. Are you are we keeping track of names or just the scoring? Just the score, sorry. Okay. You don't want to do another turn of it, I don't think. Okay. Uh, should I do another? I gotta just do the next person in line. Okay. Okay. Ready? Reveal. Oh. I like yours. Mine's Rachel McAdams. Rachel McAdams. I love her. And who's yeah. yours? Rosamund Pike. You know, she is a phenomenal evil person in a lot of these movies. <laughs> Gone Girl. Gone Girl. And I care a lot or whatever. Those two movies were... She was Both also in a couple other movies with Bruce Willis and kind of like not as great. Both of those movies blew my mind. Like, Me too. Insanely. Me too. And Gone so Girl, she's good. It was clearly her parents' fault for doing that awesome Amy bullshit. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And ruining oh, yeah. Their kid. They ruined their kid. I know. So when you have one child and you have one job and you just mess it all up. <laughs> totally. They ruined her. It was a really good book or, or movie, both whatever. It was so good. So good. But I love Rachel McAdams because she's kind of versatile. Of course, she's in Wedding Crashers and then she's in a she's in with Harrison Ford in a movie called Good Morning, I think, or something. Morning Glory. Morning Glory. Did you see um, Red Eye? Oh, yeah. Uh... I don't know if I've seen it or not. It's a right horror now. movie about like a like a plane ride. She's with like a stalker that's like right next to her. Ooh. All right, <laughs> who's picking? We need a winner. I don't know. You're I don't know who wins. Though. It's hard. Did we give our first? Two... Our first person was a tie, or did we? Yes. We did give it a tie because I can't remember. Do you want to start over? <laughs> My memory is not don't, good. Don't make me don't make me forget what the score is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's we're tied two to two. Okay, we'll just keep going. Hold Let's on. just keep going. Go back over. I won. I won. Didn't I win? No, you won the first one. I won those two. Then yeah, it's two to two. Okay, so this is a tiebreaker one. 
Yes. And then we're going to keep going. I don't know, guys. Anybody in the chat like Roseman Pike or Rachel McAdams as like who you want to see in the movie? Movie who you enjoy? Move my big head out the way. <laughs> <laughs> These are both beautiful ladies. Very good, talented actresses, actors, whatever you want to say. Who would you want to hang out with? That was funny how it warped your face. <laughs> I don't know. See, that's my hair and my ear. Make a decision. I know. I have somebody in my chat. I wish they would like comment. Hey, JM, Millie Kardashian. <laughs> Who do you like better? Who do you like better? Rosamund Pike or Rachel McAdams? I need some help. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Let's go. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> it, for me, it's a tie because I like them both a lot. And we haven't got anybody commenting. Anybody commenting on your side? It's hard to play this game if we don't have people helping. Um, okay, well, I'm, who do I like better? Yeah. I mean, it's a very random game that we like to play on here. On the I think show. I think Rosamund is a slightly better actress, and it's not a knock to Rachel, but it's I'm, just I, it's that, a tie. Uh, it's a tie for me. Do you really think she's better? I really I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I know she was in a movie with Bruce Willis, and she, I didn't like her at all in it. She's more memorable in the performances. She just she's had done. a couple of big ones lately. I think I that's see, the difference. What was it? The Time Traveler's Wife? Yeah, she's really good. Mm, it's hard because it's it's an even playing field in my opinion. She's had two more recent bigger ones and I think that's why it's like on our mind. Like, oh, she just had some, they're more recent. Have we seen her anything recently? She's also a Channing Tatum one in The Vow, I think. I is, either of them recently. I know, well, it doesn't care a lot. Right. I care a lot was... Damn, that was good. Was... That was, I've watched it several times because it's that good. I didn't put I my rings on. You get you get the point. Oh. You got the point. You just okay. like me. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's go. I'm not biased. I'm I'm playing the game, Kaya. All right. I really like this game because I like all these actors, so this is fun. Ready? Three, two, one. Reveal. <laughs> I don't know who that is. What's his name? His name's Killian Murphy. And he's also in Red Eye with Rachel McAdams. What else, what else is he in? He was, a, he was the, the Scarecrow from the Batman Begins movie. He was in Inception as the, the son, the, the guy whose dreams they invaded. What's his name again? Killian Murphy with a C. You've, I think you've mentioned this person before. I just don't just don't realize who it is. I don't know. And that's uh, Wednesday, right? No, no. This is Christina Ricci, girl. Oh, right. And she was in... Did she play Wednesday? Black Snake Adam? Moan. I don't know. Yeah, the old movie. You're right. She did. You're right. You're right. The older one or whatever, the Adams Family movie. Of course she did. Durr. Of course she did. But I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking about like Black Snake Moan and some other movies. She's wicked good. So I don't know. We went, we went, I don't know. I think he needs to be in more stuff. Yeah. Is he in Dune? He's not in Dune. No. There's a new Dune coming out. They just showed the trailer. I was uh, really trailer. disappointed by that Dune movie, too. Oh. I thought it was boring. It was <laughs> interesting. Like, oh, it was there's okay. Gonna, there's going to be a part two? I don't yeah. care. They I just, don't care. They just released that trailer today. I, I don't give a shit if there's going to be a part three or part four. I don't care. I don't care. Right. I don't care. I didn't kill my wife. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think you get the point again. You're just being super nice, but I'll take it. I'm not going to argue. She's running away with the game, fellas. Look out. Kaya knows how to play. I just want you to all to know that. Donkey, donkey, donkey. Donkey, donkey, donkey. On your mark, get set. Reveal. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, 
It's a hard game to play when we just randomly put people up against each other for no real reason. Like, well, that's hard. That. That's <laughs> William H. Macy. Mm -hmm. He's got some talent behind him, but he's in, like, a couple pieces of poo-poo, like Jurassic Park 3. <laughs> I disagree. I think he plays an and, exceptional role. But he's in um, Magnolia. Yeah. That role he does in that film is insane like he it's such an amazing role that he does like it's amazing he has braces and he has all these issues and it's like he's struggling with his his identity and things and it's just a very very interesting film and what's her name again uh um gyllenhaal hold on maggie, maggie, maggie gyllenhaal maggie. from secretary uh what other batman the uh dark knight um, oh, she's, she's really good. The one with, uh, the one with Will Ferrell. Um, the one where he's got the narrator in his head. Oh yeah, that was annoying. But, but she's really good. She was in one. Um, I can't even think of what it was. But what she's really, really good. I should probably. We should probably be talking about their some of their work. Yeah. Isn't think that what we're doing? I mean, like, I guess when I say that, I mean, I need a refresher of my memory. That's what I mean. Kaya needs a little bit of a memory refresher, everybody. We don't think Kaya is too hard on herself. <laughs> and we want Kaya to love This is herself. Sunday fun day. It's Sunday fun day. <laughs> I really like her. Um, she's got some charisma to her. There's, she's got like a magnetism about her, like something really cool. I got to pull up all my stuff because I like shut all my windows earlier. He went and did TV and he went and did Shameless for a little while. Yeah, he did a few se seasons of Shameless. He's a very interesting. He's in this one called, I think it's called Cell Phone or Cellular or whatever it's called with uh, Chris Evans. And it was, gosh, Kaya, that movie is a piece of poo poo. I'm like, it's what is this? bad. I'm like, I haven't even heard of it. Yeah, Cellular, 2004. I'll have to look that. I was rewatching that Chris Evans movie last night. I do like him. I do like Chris Evans. Other than just Marvel. Like, I like that you can be in other things besides just Marvel. <laughs> Listen, though, there's a lot of talent in this, in this movie, Cellular. Kim Basinger, Chris Evans, Jason Statham, William H. Macy. Mm -hmm. I like Jason Statham a lot. Jessica Beale's in it too. Oh wow. Like, there's a lot of talent and it's just a stinker. I don't know what the problem was. Maybe it was the, the plot, maybe the director. You know a movie I just thought of and I don't know why. I have no idea why. It has nothing to do with anything we're talking about, but for some reason Deuce Bigelow just popped into my brain with Rob Schneider. <laughs> I have no idea why. Random. Okay. I got sidetracked. Who gets the point here? Uh, hold on one more minute because I just looked up her stuff for a minute. So now I'm going to look up him real quick. Just. Oh, yeah. He was in Fargo and he was really funny. And stay on her and I'll, I'll stay on him. I don't even remember him in Boogie Nights. You really want me to see Magnolia. I think I have it. It's exceptional in my opinion, but it's long because there's, it depends on where you are in your, in your whatever awakenings and spiritual stuff, because it's a heavy movie to watch. It's heavy. Like what you've been through in life can, it can awaken that stuff. But Tom Cruise is exceptional. Whoa. And we've got Philip Seymour Hoffman and the storylines are all intersecting and it's like, it's okay. Tom Cruise is talking oh, about Mystery Men. That's a fun movie. Oh Lord, the Shoveler. He plays the Shoveler. <laughs> I don't the know who wins. Guy. I don't know. We need people. We need people in our chat because when we've had people in our chat helping makes this go better. And so when it's just you and me talking about it, it's like mm, it doesn't really move in, move along. He was in Boogie Nights. And he's in Air Force One. He's in a lot of stuff. Fargo. Oh, that's right. He was in Fargo. Yeah. He. Yeah. He was. He went in the dorky guy. Sentence. Oh, Hook is here. Hook can help us. Hook, 
we're just playing a random game and we're just picking random actors and then saying who who's the better one who do we like a little bit more you got to help me you got to help us we got william h macy who was in magnolia and some other and Jill, and maggie gyllenhaal secretary and what are the other ones i forget but she's they're both so good we just like oh she left Hook left. She's like, I don't want to play your game today. I'm done with you and your game. <laughs> I is winning. I don't know. This is going to be, we're going to have to come back to this one, I think. Because I can't make a decision yet. We need helpers. We need helpers to help us. And, and being that they don't match up perfectly well, it's hard. Because they're both so good. Who can, who can we pick? Mm. What do you think, Sean? I say we go with who's pretty here. No offense to William, but we we go with the pretty person, don't you think? That's stupid. That's dumb. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. We need help, people. Help me. How good was she in secretary? I think she's great. Really good. Really, really good. But he's really good in Magnolia. Okay. And I like him in a movie that you don't like him in. So I think that makes the the voting that much diff more difficult. That's all right. I think we should just hang on to this one and come back because are we? All no. right. No, let's give it to you and then we'll be tied. That's this, we'll... yeah. There's no ties in the verses of this. Yeah. There this is. isn't this one. This game wasn't even meant to be serious or, or competitive. No. Okay. It's literally just something I'm making up. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. Reveal. Oh, oh my man. Oh no. Nathan Fillion, you automatically get the point. Mm. I mean, God, that's hard because I like him a lot too. Though that was a good. That was pretty good, Max. They're both kind of similar looking. I mean, I really like him and stuff. He's been in some fun ones. He was in a movie with, um, I just mentioned him earlier. Why, my brain is doing good things today. Wusa, 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 wusa. <laughs> with, um, Harrison Ford. That was really fun. And he's been in like he was in Pearl Harbor, and like that was spectacular with that with I like um, him in, um, the faculty. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I love that they used drugs to kill the aliens. There were in a couple of sappy movies, too. Oh, that's funny. Oh, my God. I like him. I had a, I had a big, 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 big crush on him for a long time, but I kind of have a crush on him right now. So. Mwah. So he wins. He, he gets wow. it. You totally get the point. <laughs> this is I super funny. This is such a random game. It's so funny. <laughs> the most random win. stuff. I think I just chose actors from movie to movie. <laughs> you know, they just happen to be in the same movies. Oh, that's funny. Ready, go. Oh, really? John C. Riley versus Elijah Wood. Who do you like better? Mine. <laughs> no. Mine. Lord of the Rings. Hello. Yes, Lord of the Rings. And we got Step Brothers. Uh, he was stupid in the one with Jennifer Aniston that you watched. What one? Uh, the Good Girl or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was a dorky, but he did a good job playing the dorky guy. The husband that didn't pay attention to his wife enough. I think I, I think I get the point because he was in Boogie Nights. Look at this face. <laughs> How could you not like this young man's face? He needs, <laughs> why, I can't believe Hook came and left. Hook, you mean mean lady? Didn't like help me out. I need more coffee. I need more coffee for the rest of this day. It's already six o'clock though for me. For me, almost six. Besides, okay, besides, he was in a dog show, right? Besides, um, dog show? Yeah. Elijah Wood, besides being in the Lord of the Rings. Oh. 
what he was in some kind of dog show like he had a dog friend imaginary dog friend or something he was in Etern eternal sunshine of the spotless mind that yellow jacket show which i hate i hate eternal sunshine the whole I movie know, the i don't want to hate it i just oh. don't i didn't like the movie's reasoning he was in drunk what? history yeah i know he was in drunk history so i don't know which episode that was but I, drunk history is a funny show and they stopped making it around covid time and that was a funny show like where they act stuff out um whatever it was on that i don't know again i don't know i think i want to vote my guy but that makes it pretty hard i guess you're kind of right it's just basically just Lord of the Rings for him, you know what I mean? I mean, he was in a, I think he was in a couple of random movies that I didn't really. He was, he was in Sin City. He was the evil yellow guy in Sin City. Oh, I forgot yeah. that. <laughs> He's he was, also a producer super, and a director. He was super creepy. <laughs> yeah, he's been in some creepy stuff. Oh, he was, in, he was in Deep Impact. You saw Deep Impact. Right, day. okay, right, right, yeah. That movie's not that great, but there was a his... Flipper movie. Flipper the movie. What was he in that? Yeah, I guess so. 1996. Wow. Oh God, he's so young. What is the trust? In 2016. It looks like. By the way, I that looks interesting, and I might want to watch it. Um, I've noticed 2016 was a good movie year. When I look back at a lot of movies, I was like, oh, that was 2016. There's a bunch of 2016 good movies. Because we were talking about what year was a good movie year. And this movie looks interesting. I might have to put it on my watchy list with my other 485 movies. <laughs> because it's action crime mystery, Nicolas Cage... Sky for fairy for for where how did the hell do you say that name? I can't say it. Oh, you get the point. Uh, I don't know. I think yeah, I guess you do. I don't know. I don't want to like clean. You've sweep. convinced me. You've convinced me. You're winning six to three. All right. Well, we only have a couple more. I guess I don't know how many it's we have. It's a it's a blowout bash. Ready? Reveal. <laughs> oh, Jessica Alba versus Patrick Dempsey. I don't really know a lot of his work. Mostly 80s. Mostly the movies I enjoyed were the 80s. He's only been a couple newer ones. I think, I think I know him from like 90s rom-coms. Right? Yeah, he was in Sweet Home Alabama with, with Reese, Reese Witherspoon at some point. Is he in the, that one wedding movie with Cameron Diaz? I don't know. Is that him? I don't know. Let me just look him up. You know, he's I know from he's my home state. Gray's Anatomy. Oh, that's cool. He's from my home state, so that's why I like him a lot. And my uh, friend of mine like ran into him in the store and got a picture with him. I'm like, so I was you're jealous. You're saying you're biased. A little. I mean, he's from my home state. <laughs> you know, and I think he's only a few and years older than me. So Kyle you know, loses a point. What? I didn't know you, that could happen, but I make up the rules, so. He's been in some of those, like, wasn't he in a Cinderella movie or something? I'm, I'm joking. Yeah, yeah. Some. Okay, he was in Bridget oh, George's Baby with. He's in, he's in Enchanted, dude. What? He's the husband in Enchanted. I love Enchanted. And I'm telling you, these 80 movies, there was, he was a pizza delivery boy that turned into a pimp in an 80s movie. Okay. Yeah. Weird. Yes, it is weird. It's extremely weird. And Princess Leia was in it. Oh, nice. He's Why in, can't I think of her real name? Carrie Fisher. Thank you. <laughs> Just simply Princess Leia. But she, he was in 2016, another 2016 movie, Bridget Jones's Baby with um, Colin Firth and Renee Zellweger. It was like a three-way, like, which one's the daddy? I don't know which one's the daddy. <laughs> When he's well younger that's a dumb question I know. he looks a lot the same he was in can't buy me love oh 
What's that? What is Jessica? I like Jessica Alba. She was in Sin City. Is that how you got her? It's like you were in, in, in yeah, must have been. Oh, uh, yeah. Sin City. Yeah. Jessica Alba. And she did a really sexy, sexy underwater video with, or movie with um, Paul Walker. That was her, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This, the surfing movie or, or underwater movie? Yeah. No, that's bad. That's a bad movie, Kaya. And like, there's one part in the movie where the the diver like clearly grabs at her uh, her boob and rips her swimsuit off, and you can see her topless. And they kept it in the movie because they're assholes. I swear. That's, that's, the, that's weird. I didn't that's know the, that, or maybe that's the creepiest thing. I didn't ever. know anything about that at all. What is it called? Deep Blue or something? What is that movie? Well, it's going to bug me. Everything oh, bugs me if I don't know. Um, she was in Outbreak. I like Outbreak. Hmm. 1995. It just makes me think of Friends episodes. Everything makes me think of Friends. Because <laughs> of the monkey. <laughs> right? There's just so many parts. Well, there was a whole, like, they were filming Outbreak 2, and, jo and Joey wanted to be in it, so he kept trying to crash in front of the director, and he's like, Phoebe. And he shook her, and he goes, for the love of God, woman! And he did that in front of the director to try to get into the, the movie. <laughs> Isn't it the, the same monkey? It must be the same monkey. I don't know. How many monkeys look like that? Probably a lot, actually. And then, and then um, you had Jean Claude Van Damme, and then Monica went on a date with him, and then <laughs> Rachel also went on a date with him. Have you ever seen Sweet Home Alabama? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mentioned it a minute earlier. Yeah. It. Yeah, it's okay. But Enchanted is a really fun movie. So I like him in that. I guess we're going to go with mine, but that means you're like starting to really lose this game today, if that's the what case. Do mean, what do you mean you guess we're going to go with yours? Clearly you haven't seen... Uh, shit. <laughs> you want me to look her up? I'll look her up. <laughs> I was looking I'll her up. I was looking her up and I was like, hmm. Fantastic Four. Machete. I didn't realize she was a machete. Me neither. LA's finest. Killer. No, I don't know what's going on. Sin City. This uh, bitch is not in, in any fucking thing. <laughs> I remember her in. Maybe I remember her in Entourage, I guess. It's not showing great stuff for her, honestly, when I'm looking at this PS. I'm just going to say it. Boop. I like Stretch. I, I mean, if you're picking cute. you're picking the more attractive person, then you're picking Jessica Alba. If you're picking the, the better winner here, it would be mine. That's all. So it's, if it's based on looks, then yours wins. <laughs> If that's how we're doing this game. It's up to you. Do you want to give me a pity point? Sure. I get a pity point? You never sure. saw you never saw Idle Hands? I feel like I did, but I it was one of those I didn't get through it like very it wasn't that exciting of a movie. It was kinda like I lame. remembered it when I saw it as a kid, I was like, this is the funniest thing ever. <laughs> I watched rewatched it and I was like, what the fuck did I think was funny about this? There's really nothing funny. <laughs> getting through it like jesus though she's barely in anything how does she even exist as an actress <gasps> oh wait she's in the love guru that's right that was a good role for her why is it not popping up that should have popped up Marish, yeah Haggerty. she that was a really good part i liked her in that uh, uh you marishka haggerty me right now or i will so help me god i will turn this show around okay Okay, there's different there's idle hand movies because I was just looking up the idle hands and I can't find oh, the that's... one. Oh, uh, there must be different ones. 1999. Oh, that's the one that came up. And also that is technically a horror movie. Technically, yeah, but there's nothing scary in it. Crime, drama, it's... horror. Okay, okay. All right, well, we can move along. It's technically a comedy movie. But there ain't nothing funny in it, so next. <laughs> okay. On to the next. 
I don't know if I have many options left. What's behind my face, Kaya? Is it the most epic thing ever? This is a hard game because it's so random. Reveal. Oh! oh! Ben Kingsley versus Jeff Goldblum. And Kaya gets the point. Thank you. Honestly, <laughs> no contest. No contest. I'm I found sorry. a guy that would have matched up with him really well, I think, but... Ben Kingsley? I'm trying to remember who it was. His, his work is so... He, he disappears into the role pretty well. Yeah, I and love him. Thing. Was he in the House of Sand and Fog? He was really good in that. Really good. Was he? I like him. He's a good yeah, guy. He's I really know. good. Believable. <laughs> I believe him as an actor, 100%. You put so many movies on my list to watch, and then you have the nerve to send me videos in my inbox, and then I don't get to anything. It's you who's to blame for why our watch lists are so Sorry. long. Sorry. My bad. Anyways, reveal. <laughs> ah! <laughs> no, you did not. No, you did not. I had to throw Tom Green in. No, you did not. I have to throw Tom Green. Look, 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 look at here. Get the, no. <laughs> There's no fucking way. I had to put Tom Green in. Tom Green. I love you. Uh, I hope you watch you, me, Tom Green, right now. You lose licking your a face. Point. Uh, I'm licking your face, Tom Green. I'm licking your face. <laughs> no transaction. No transaction. All right, so yours wins. It's fine. Yes. It's good. Ah, Daddy, would you like some sausage? Daddy, would you like some sausage? <laughs> oh, for Christ's she, sake. She's an absolute all-star, though. Yes, 100%. Yeah. I agree. But when he's live, I have so much fun watching him live, hanging out with his dog, running around his farm, singing up uh, crazy songs. I love Tom Green. I posted videos using his songs and music. I don't care. I like Tom Green. See, I told you. Uh, okay, let's move along. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even best. know what I have left. You're the worst and you're the best at the same time. <laughs> I know. I like to be a little on the inappropriate, but not too bad. I Hopefully, I didn't already use this person, but my, you know how I am. I forget. Are we ready? Ready, reveal. Oh, Bill Murray versus Oliver Platt. I mean, Bill Murray kind of has to take that one. I do love my Oliver Platt, though. I love him in Lake Placid, 100%. Love him. His his energy in that movie is... Mm. I get the point? Yeah, you get the point. Okay. I don't know I'm, what we have left. I'm closing in on you. You don't have any more? I can't remember how many we were at. Do you know? Can you... I Well, whoever you have, yeah, that's... You pick, well, right? Also, the memory, man. The memory. I don't know. Oh, the memories. Or you could just go in order. That would have been smart. Oh, now now they're popping up for me. Oh, of course they are. This is the guy I should have picked to go against your guy. Maybe. But how would you know? Because it's random. Yeah, true. Oh, Thomas Jane. He played the Punisher. I know that's, that. that's the favorite movie. That's my favorite movie with him. Really? Of all the Punisher movies, Kaya, he's not the best Punisher for real. That's, that's fine. That's and, fine. You know, to each their own. It's to a vibe. Sometimes it's just a vibe. Tell me what she's in. I, isn't that uh, Kate Blanchett? Oh, okay. I like her. Benjamin Buttons. Benjamin yeah. Buttons. Yeah, that. Yeah. Carol, did you ever see the lesbian movie? Carol? I don't know. Lesbians looking at each other. I've seen a lot of different lesbian movies. I don't know which one you're referring to. She's also Galadriel in, in The Lord of the Rings. She was like the evil, not evil, but like really powerful I like, I elf, know. old elf. She's in so much stuff. Oh, I know. So much. I, I mean, I probably, I don't know. Sometimes when we do this, it's hard to pick. Oh, I just like lost some of my sparkles. It's hard to pick when we put two totally different type people up against each other. Because he's going to be in a lot of action movies and she's going to be in different kind of movies than that. And She's in this one called Mowgli, Legend of the Jungle. Oh. You know, it's a, it's a Jungle Book adaptation. God, that movie sucked so bad. Yeah, I hated it. I didn't like it. Yeah, sometimes I do hear your air conditioner. Um, I she don't was, know who to pick on this. Thor Ragnarok. She played Hela. 
for Ragnarok? I don't really do the that stuff that much. You know, you know. One of these days, I could just sit around and watch all this, those Marvels and things. All but right. all right, sorry. <laughs> no, it's sorry. fine. It's my own thing. I just there's too many, and they had to go and make nine thousand of them. So, um, and you would never remember the ends to them. Hundred percent. You called me out. Hundred percent. Um, it's kind of a tie for me because I think she's kind of in her own right. I think I get a little bit more of the star power point. Okay. She's just, she's just been in more stuff than him. No, there he had a huge ass list of stuff. What else has he been in? He had a huge ass list. There was an action movie I was watching recently. I feel like he was in. It says he was uh, in Boogie Nights, but I don't even remember his character. He was in Boogie Nights. I don't remember that. I don't remember his character in it, so I don't um, know. Deep Blue Sea, he's in The Mist. The Mist and Red Line. Line. Uh, the Vanished. Breach? No, I don't know that one. I mean, and there's more. <laughs> there's a ton, so. Well, I, I really like I recognize this. any of these movies. Yeah. What's The Veil? I wonder if that's anything I want to oh, watch. Okay. In Scott Pilgrim, he was one of the vegan police. I'm not sure why he'd want to take on that role. Yeah, okay, we're just going to give it to you, I think, on this guy, on this one. I think that you're ahead means, of me by one point, possibly. That means we're tied, Kyle. Oh, we're, we're tied? Oh. Uh, six, no, seven to seven. I forget what I have left. Okay. I don't know. We're going to do this uh, one. What the hell? Who's next? Reveal. Oh, oh my god oh yours gets it you turn really it. she's yeah. so cute though drew i love drew 100 percent love her but i think star power et i okay. know i know and firestarter but a lot of this stuff was older that. yeah i don't see even, she even did it as an adult she's in some oh i know stuff. she's in some stuff but i really think that charlie's takes this one i'm glad Charlie's we had two chicks eight. together yeah yeah. Okay. Wow. Yep. I'm ahead. You're ahead. Sometimes you win. Sometimes I win. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how you play. You share. <laughs> dun dun dun. Who's next? Reveal. Reveal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I Liv Tyler. I picked Liv Tyler too, so that's funny. Oh, you do? You have her? I had her. Yeah, in my list of. But I picked extra people. Sometimes I do that in case I change my mind in the in the game. But. That's kind of like cheating, I think. But whatever, it's okay. We know you yeah. cheat. You know, <laughs> we were prepared. I think I had to put him in because I wanted to get some like not so huge names. I wanted to like mix it up a little, and I think he's a a good like in Hitch. I love him in Hitch. Okay. I love him in Hitch. Did you see what's it called? Secrets of an International Assassin Memoirs? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think so. It's really a dorky, right? Just dorky stupidness, right? Yeah. Unbelievable stupidness. <laughs> like, yeah, that was pretty bad. Let me look it up again. What did it? What did, was it called? Memoirs of an International Assassin, I think. I can't even spell. M E M O I R S. I don't know. Just look up his name. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'm going to cheat and just look up Kevin James. It'll be easier. Plus, Adam Sandler's, a lot of Adam Sandler stuff. Yeah. Oh, Lord, someone set up a huge firework near us earlier today, midday, out of the blue, and I jumped right out of my... I told you already this early on the beginning of this video, <laughs> this live. He was in uh, Pixels as the president. Yeah. I'm distracted by all the noises. That's crazy. Yeah, I didn't even watch that movie. So I Paul get the Blart. Point. Paul Blart. I get the point. <laughs> Paul Blart, though. Really? Really? I do. I do. I, get I mean, point. by this, this much, like a teeny uh, bit, just a sure, teeny what, bit. Whatever you tell, want to tell yourself, whatever helps you sleep at night. I knew you were going to say 
say that. Now, either I don't know if I know you that well or what, but I knew you were going to say that. Like, that's trippy a little bit. I knew you were going to say that. That's weird. Okay. Either I'm psychic. Oh, we're playing this still. I got to get in here. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this game. It's fun. Oh, God. I can't believe I had this. I had Liv Tyler, too. God damn it. Are you ready? No. I don't. Yeah. I can't remember who I picked. I'm tired of holding my head this close. Okay, fine. Okay, go. I, I don't know if I picked this one yet. Go. No, you haven't. Yeah. Okay, thank God. Patton versus Jack Nicholson. Well, I mean, Jack Nicholson takes it. You're killing me in this game. You're killing me in this game. You were ahead and I came back. Yeah, it's you came back. You came back with a vengeance. A comeback. <laughs> Do we have any left or was that it? Yeah, of course. We had 20. Oh. I told him to pick 20, right? Did you forget how to count again? Because, no offense, you've forgotten how to count a couple of times. <laughs> oh! oh. Furman versus Javier Bardem. Okay, he's really enjoyable, to be honest. Um, I like her a lot, though, yeah. No Country for Old Men is I know. the coolest so action good. movie. He's in The Counselor, too, I think. Isn't oh, yeah. he? He's in The Counselor, and he's really good in that. But I'm going to give it to Natalie Portman because I fucking love her in everything. She's so good. She was in this, like... Ho Black Swan. Oh, she was in so many good movies. I love Black, her so Black much. Black Swan was, was really... That was trippy. That was a little trippy. And, uh, Leon like, the Professional, which you still haven't seen. Yeah. No, I have. I've seen it more than once oh, now. Did? I've seen it twice. Oh, yeah. I had forgotten I'd seen it when I was rewatching it because she's a little kid, you know, and she, all her yeah. family and all that. I'm like, oh, I've totally seen it. So then I watched it, yeah. And then there's the uh, Star Wars, which we don't have to talk about the Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so she get that one. I got the point. I'm I winning. still don't know what movie we were looking at earlier. I got sidetracked. The score and... is 11 to 7. <laughs> You're slaughtering me. It's all right. I was taking the back seat. It's okay. I got more Phenomenals. I got two left. I don't think I did this one yet. I hope. Reveal. Reveal. Ooh, I oh, I had Julia Roberts. I had Julia Roberts and Liv Tyler, but I didn't put them up yet. That's funny. Michael, Michael Fassbender. Versus Julia Roberts. Kick-ass action, and she's a spectacular superstar. So, like, how do you play this one up, guys? How do you do it? I'm I love him as Magneto. Magneto. He's so perfect as Magneto. He's, he's good in, yeah. Did you, you probably haven't seen the, the Snowman. I have seen the Snowman. That's like a great okay. movie. It's okay. I think it's a great movie. Are we not friends anymore? We, did we just unfriend each other forever? <laughs> you gonna fight me? <laughs> I like the Kaya. Snowman. Kaya. You're hold just your, snobby. Hold your head to the camera. Oh! <laughs> all right, Bad all right. Don't break, don't break your phone. Bad. The snowman is an awful... You know his character's name in that? What? Harry Hole. I gave it a seven. We've talked about this movie before. His I gave name it a... is Harry Hole. Do you okay. remember... Do you remember... Uh, what's his name? Val Kilmer's they, character? They, they fucked up in editing and, like, they left out a bunch of scenes... And then, like, the continuity of the movie doesn't make any fucking sense. How is that a good movie, dude? Okay, I like the movie, but I also have a lower standard, apparently, on movie making. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Another thing is, like, it seemed like it was longer than two hours. Is that just me? It's two, it says two hours here, but you never know if you got a director cut. Who knows? Maybe you should find a director cut to watch. Maybe it'd be better. Maybe you'd like it better. But anyway, besides the snowman, what was the other one I saw him in that I liked? Shoot. I'm not saying it, it was his fault, okay? I'm just saying that movie is pretty flippin' bleh. You are, you are allowed to like it. I give you permission. <laughs> I actually like these um, sort of yeah, Harry Hole. That is a weird name. You're right. You're right. You're right. That's a little weird. I never saw the Assassin's Creed movie. 
they saw some video I game. I never saw the Steve's job one. Uh, did I see that? I think I saw the other Steve Jobs one. I uh, think he's a really good oh, actor. Yeah. I believe him. I did see this one. I did see the Steve Jobs movie. Oh, you did? It's pretty boring. Sorry to say. All right, Julia Roberts gets it, guys. Moving along. And Steve Jobs played a jerk, too. Moving right along. Moving right along. I got two more, it looks like. I have 12. I have seven. It's, this is the final right here. Oh, this is? I think so, this is all I had. Oh, crap. <laughs> I changed mine. Reveal. Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess yours wins on this one. I guess you just killed me in this game. Your, your game killed me today. <laughs> yep. Yep. Thanks for following me, Damien. Oh, 13. Yeah. 13 to 7. I could have put Julia Stiles on there too. I mean, she's not in a ton ton, but I love her. Wasn't she in the Born something or other? I love her, Julia Stiles. Ooh. I'm talking about Julia oh, Stiles. Right. Sorry. Another total person I could have put on. I did find one more person that, but see, this is because I like I, Helen Hunt. She's in Twister. I love Twister. Yeah. She's also in What Women Want, and I kind of like her uh, in that part. She's like, oh no, I looked at his crotch. Oh no, I did it again. <laughs> Don't look at Scott, you know, because he can hear her thinking, and she's thinking stuff, and it's so good. Look, look. You guys twin. have the same smile. Yeah, you're twinning. Mwah, you're cousins. <laughs> she's, she's absolutely gorgeous. Oh yeah. God. Did you see the Green Hornet? No, with, no, I don't think so. Seth, Seth Rogen? Dude, Seth Rogen creeps on her so bad. It's the most cringe thing you've ever seen in any movie. He's just walking around stoned all day. It's okay. He's like harmless like a fly. That's not an excuse. He's harmless That's... like a fly. He's just a, he's a uh, stoned out Canadian. It's okay. And I say that in the best love because I love Seth Rogen. To anybody who's listening, I'm not trying to offend anybody. We're not here to offend. We're just here to play an innocent, sweet game of who's cooler. <laughs> Kai is cooler. Sean just happened to win this game. <laughs> Correct. Correct. We will have an intervention one day on, on what you think is comedy and what you don't think is comedy. Oh my god, intervention. It's just, listen, I'm so lighthearted and I'm a Sagittarius. You can't change me from being a Sagittarius. What else did you have? With, uh, other oh, let me see. I had one. I think I had one left. You were you were the cheater who stacked the deck with extras. That's, and I still uh, lost. And I still lost. I really like him. He reminds Rich, me of my uncle. He has the same. Greg, Greg Kinnear. Yes, Greg Kinnear. He's like at the he same. He's in one of my favorite movies, Stuck on You, with Matt Damon. <laughs> I swear, I love that movie. Do you know it? Yes, I know it. I don't like it. Remember, I gave it a four. And you're like, you basically cried when I gave it a four. <laughs> it's, it's just, <laughs> I recognize it's not like the most well put together movie, but it, it just makes me like happy. Yeah. And they, they did put a lot of disabled people that were kind of famous in, into that movie. Yeah. I like that it makes you happy, kind of like how Weekend at Bernie's or Silly Lake movies make me happy. They're just, they're dorky, but they make me feel really happy. And these earrings are kind of cool because they kind of are shining in a pink color, but they're blue, but they're shining pink. Like, whoa, that's trippy. Well, this was a fun game. We did an hour of this game. Is that, that's the only other one you had? I think so. I think that was, well, hold on, let's just verify. So she brought 21 to a 20 gunfight. You didn't use Sandra Bullock? Wow. And you didn't use Jared Leto? Those were totally in your arsenal. That's 24, that's 25. But. But she's cute. He's so. my new, he's kind of my new favorite, you guys. I, I really am down with Peter Dinklage. I would like to meet him. Who's like that would be super guy? fun. Who, who's my favorite from my list today, you ask? Yes, I'm wondering. Who's your favorite? Sean, please tell me. Don't leave me hanging like that. I need to know. That's a tough call. Who is this again? No. I like John. <laughs> I like him, though. He was in a good movie. Uh, I think Bradley Cooper's got a lot of talent. Were they the two in the beginning together? Yeah, yeah. Jack Nicholson, though. 
his performance as the Joker in the in the 1989 Batman movie is so phenomenal. This is it is Bill a lot of fun. Murray, playing Bill Murray's games. lost a lot of my respect over the last couple well, of movies. He's gotten a little like old and pervish. I mean, they did get old see, and pervy somehow. I don't know what's up with Bradley that. Cooper, did you see Aloha? You, you should see Aloha. Yes, you, yes, yes. You're not even a big fan of it. Well, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to hear back what you thought of it. I didn't mind it, but I didn't. I don't recall finishing it either. <laughs> she didn't finish. She said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I kind of like that movie. I like the cheesy Batman movies. This was partly filmed in Vermont, one of our quarries. I'm telling you, a lot of movies are filmed here. I've had a lot of cool movies. I've had Michelle Pfeiffer running around at our fair, you know, back in like 2000-ish or something. I don't know for sure if that was 2000, but something like that. Poison Ivy, I think that actress, Uma Thurman, I think that was a great choice, actually. Yeah, yeah. She did got, a good job. Yeah, Alicia Silverstone, you got a really good matchup in this one. This was a really good one, yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger in our quarry. <laughs> I, I know you don't like it, but I do. I it's didn't a, say that. I didn't say I don't like it. I just say, as, as far as comedy goes, it didn't make me laugh a lot. But I it, don't know how you're not laughing. Seriously, I would be pissing myself laughing so hard at parts of that movie, and you would be like laughing at me pissing myself probably because like who just sits there pissing himself? But like seriously, there's parts that are. <laughs> 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 like obnoxious like they're being so obnoxious like when that guy is the caterer and he's the dancer and entertainer and he's the wedding you know like officiant and he's like everybody and he's like trying to shove food in her mouth and at, a, at the party and she's like gagging and like then he's doing a dance he's like and and uh what's her name he Betty White's like slap his ass yes i thought that line was hilarious by the way <laughs> it was so <laughs> obnoxious and his dancing moves and his like and I'm like, I'm like this watching. I'm like, no, I can't and watch he, this. Betty White's doing the Native American dance. Oh, yeah. She's all like, sweat drips down it's my like, I don't know. She, Cassandra Bullock's the one that was singing it. The other one was just teaching her. Oh, Betty White was teaching her. But also, crawl. it was oh, like, oh, you, 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 oh, you females crawl. It was, like, it was some pagan, fun it was moments. It was a pagan thing. Yeah, yeah. It was a great. I, I feel at the beginning, right, when they have her character come off as like the witch character there's not enough like actual she's just serious. Yeah, right she's just serious being a witch and it's like okay why is she that way she's just rigid and serious and like and then the firing scene was interesting i like the firing scene she's i'll have him film it on the youtube they worked at a book company a publishing company something like that yeah i think it's i i like the movie it's a guilty pleasure i watched it many 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 times so also what was unbelievable was her assistant how often does that happen I have, this is a different he's he's younger than her by what five years that happens all the time 10 years it was a little bit weird in some regards but whatever we, I talked about this earlier today on my TikTok. This was a random weird one. <laughs> the Bachelor. Oh, here's a Can't Buy Me Love. She's not even alive anymore. She died when she was 43. It's crazy. That's crazy young. How'd she die? I'm not entirely she... sure, but it. I don't. I think it was probably an illness of some sort. I don't know. I, I'd have to. I just know that it sucks because I liked her so much. Her name is Amanda Peterson. Oh, I love some kind of wonderful. That's for me. That's a, I don't know. There's something about that movie. It's just so freaking good. In my, in my opinion, you know, like he's like, I'm 18 and then I'm 19 and then I'm 20. When does my life belong to me? I love that. It's so important to me. That line that what he's saying standing up for himself so he did what the guy in um dead poet society didn't do he stood up to his father his father was pushing him to go to college and join college and really harassing him and pushing and pushing him and he's like i want to do what i want to do like i want to be an artist and he he was so artistic i just love him so much and i'm i love him for that i love him for that that role that part uh, anyway 
We're just talking movies, all We could do it all day. I could do it all day. You know this. Oh, dear God. Don't be doing the booby. <laughs> Again. I don't know. That's just a, that's nothing. This is a movie. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know what I'm looking at. Um, you're so cute, Sean. That's me and my daughter a few years ago. Or, uh, that's me. You can't see me. I know you're there. I've seen you before in that. Like you're wearing a costume. That's but, cute. Uh, that was recently. Was that a recent picture? No. That how long ago? Recent Maybe. being within a year, right? No. So longer than that. Okay. That's all I got for today, people. That's all I got. That was dancing right there. That was a long time ago. Oh my God. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Yeah. Remember, the freedom is for everybody, not just for some. Okay, thank you. It's like, welcome to my TED Talk, okay? Ooh, you're looking smoking hot. <laughs> I touched the wrong way. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> they did great on your makeup. Bye. Awesome. Thank you, Sean. Every hour. Good seeing you. Bye. Okay. Love you.